Hi, uh, my name is Amin Rahman Shariki, and I'm the Chief Analytics Officer for the City of New York and the Director of the Mayor's Office for uh, Data and Analytics. I think this is exciting. Uh, it's, it's very important for someone like me to be here, and I see why it's important to have this community uh, because uh, where everyone is doing something different to really further this concept of open data. And to be able to come into a community and to a safe space like this and share uh, uh, and uh, talk about what you're doing and learn about what other people are doing, I go away from this a lot smarter, exponentially smarter than I, I did the day before of this conference. So it's a, it's a great learning opportunity. A lot of people feel like New York City we're such a big city, we're such a, a, a sort of advanced city, and so um, there's not much that we can learn. But I've already learned so much from listening to some of the talks, and we're actually gonna be taking some things back and trying and testing them out. So it's very experimental, this, uh, this, this, uh, this summit. It allows you to come here and learn what other people are doing, and maybe try some of those things when you go back home. And that's exciting for me. When you put so much information and really so much knowledge um, into uh, uh, data sets, um, uh, it forces people to really um, focus uh, on those data sets and use those data sets on a daily basis. And so people who normally wouldn't uh, uh, go to an open data portal and download data and use that data are now doing that. And so what you're seeing is um, the number of people who are becoming more and more data literate um, using data to solve everyday problems, using data to think about things on a daily basis is growing. And so the more people within municipal governments, uh, within cities, within states, uh, that are relying on data to help them sort of uh, take on uh, daily tasks, but then also challenges uh, and problems, is growing uh, exponentially. And I think that's it. That's exciting. I, I do believe that this is really sort of uh, moving at a fast pace uh, the way that any normal person, any regular uh, New Yorker or, or citizen of another city can interact with their government, uh, but not only interact, but then to begin to be impactful uh, and change the services that that government offers them. Uh, this is very important, I mean, open data is at the forefront of making that happen. We've seen um, a number of uh, uh, cases where that's actually happened, uh, and it's helped to make the city government uh, better. And we look forward to that growing uh, exponentially. I think you have to go where the students are um, and get them as early as possible and engage the students as early as possible in communities that aren't traditionally, uh, that haven't traditionally been engaged with, with data, open data, uh, and technology. And so when you sort of infuse thinking about data into how young students in certain areas, uh, underserved communities, um, when you infuse that into um, their education, their learning process, uh, it becomes very normal. It becomes uh, 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 almost as seamless as breathing for them. And that's, and that's the way this has to be done. I'll give you a quick example. Uh, in one case in a elementary school mm -hmm. in uh, Brooklyn, New York, uh, there are students who are engaging in uh, the STEM Olympics where they sort of build bridges and build all sorts of technology contraptions, robotics, and so on and so forth, and they compete against other schools within the district. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that I did, I was a judge in that competition, was ask the students to, to uh, jot down um, the data points of the different things that they were built. So, for instance, if they were building a bridge, how big was the bridge, what was the, uh, the, the length, the width, the size, the height, how many um, popsicle sticks did you use to build the bridge, all of these data points and store those data points such that we can upload them to the open data portal. So they're not only thinking about uh, uh, science and technology and engineering, but they're also thinking about the data points that uh, go along with that. And so if you catch them early, uh, as they become uh, older, they're thinking about data uh, in a very seamless and, and normal way. And that's how you begin to sort of go into communities.